Refusing to raise the public debt ceiling unless cuts are made to Social Security endangers America's creditworthiness. I'm Barbara Kennelly with the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare. The American people in poll after poll have said they do not support cutting benefits in the name of deficit reduction. They understand Social Security has not contributed one dime to our current fiscal problems. I'm Roger Hickey with the Campaign for America's Future. Some in Congress are threatening our country's financial health unless the President agrees to cut Social Security benefits. We've paid extra taxes to cover our future benefits. Don't let Congress take our Social Security. This is Nancy Altman with Social Security Works. In tough times, Social Security provides the only lifeline most families will ever have. And it's not just about retirees. Benefits go to children, persons with disabilities, and to families surviving the death of a wage earner. Social Security benefits should not be traded away in a Washington version of let's make a deal. Tell Congress to keep their hands off Social Security. Paid for by the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare.